just the same? It, it changes right now as in, in our preparation because we really want to kind of let the kids come down, let them enjoy what they've accomplished. And um, the season has been such a hard push since the middle to the SECs, um, emotionally coming down and physically recovering a little bit and um, maybe getting some of these nagging things that have been wrong. We've got a first time we've had a two-week period. So um, we're going to really kind of bring it down and then try to gear it back up next week. And um, the emphasis for this is to get into the second night and um, be strong and ready the second night. So we don't want to dismiss the first night. It's important that we go in the PMAC and have a great meet and uh, our crowd comes and gets the kid fired up and then uh, come in there on Friday night and Saturday night and give us the best, best we can. Gratifying at all to have the finish you did when a couple months ago we were sitting here talking about not worry about now, let's worry about let's later. Worry about later. Uh, a, a ton of gratification. And, you know, um, there, there were two things that I felt like were really important in that happening was beating Alabama at Alabama and then also the great experience that this team had when we went to St. Louis for the podium meet to get on the podium and, and get really comfortable with that. And I think the, the momentum and the, they, the kids kept the wind in their sails and kept moving forward as, uh, as the season progressed. And I think each week their, their confidence got better and so, so did their, their, their physicalness and uh, their ability to control their gymnastics. What about the familiarity that you're going to have, I guess, with some competitors here? Um, yeah. You know, um, Auburn's a great team. They, you know, they, of course, they beat us at their place. But, um, you know, the postseason is the postseason. And uh, we're, we've kind of been aiming at this the entire entire year and um, we're really happy to be bringing the regionals back to Louisiana that's you know it's not been here in such a ridiculous long time so that you know that's an exciting thing but uh, you know the the rebounding uh, and getting three SEC championships in a row and you know every, all the effort and all everything that the state of Louisiana and everybody put into bringing that event here and then the tremendous success that it had was uh, had for our program and for Louisiana it was, it was a lot of gratification. Could you be more? Could you? I know y'all. Y'all said. Then Jay said uh, last week had some nagging injuries and things yeah. that you need to heal up on it. But in general, could you be more pleased than where you are? You know, I did, you know, it's amazing that um, when when you have that kind of victory. Uh, you don't have the the nagging. Oh, this hurts in the middle of the meet. You know, kids can can push through an amazing uh, amount of stuff when things are going well. Uh, but being able to recover this week, being able to to really rest and bring their emotions and their physical well-being, you know, to the to the forefront. Um, but recovery is critically important right now. I love the gymnastics we're doing. I, I think that uh, we're doing a, a high degree of difficulty. We're, everything we're doing is, is, is well managed and the kids are very comfortable and very confident. We're hoping that we can get a few more routines ready. I'd like to have Sarah Edwards ready to do floor. I'd like to think I can get Juliana Canamella in vaulting and also in floor in this short amount of time. So um, we're going to do a little bit of harder work with some of the kids, but uh, the all-arounders, we're going to really kind of rest them. Reagan. Campbell, we're going to really rest that foot and see if we can get it better so we can get her in floor by national. So um, it, we're, it's kind of a – we're juggling right now and, and, and real happy to have the time to do it. Finnegan seems like she's the expecting to win, not hoping to win girl now. I mean, just it's almost – you hate to say automatic, but it certainly feel that, felt that way. Well, you know, it, it, she's, just, she's just so natural and just so normal. And, you know, when she goes out and you think, I wonder what the coaches are telling her. We're, we're telling them to be Finnegan, just to go out there and relax and be normal. And that's, uh, that's what she did the other night. And her emotion was so high and her level of um, just spirit for the team was in incredible. So, you know, she deserves every good thing that comes her way. So does the senior class. They've, they've really done a, a great job representing LSU. How well have they held it together for the girls? Who, you know, they kind of put it together. Tremendous. They've done a tremendous job of, of just helping create this cohesiveness and their, their ability to communicate with each other and read each other's emotions and, and calm each other down and then lift each other back up. And it's been it's been amazing. And, you know, the, the stick crown is insignificant as we thought it was going to be when we first started. We just thought it would be, a you know, something that w might play for a while. Um, they live it. They love it. And uh, it's it's an important part. And this this senior class has really made it a big deal. Not, not insignificant all this is totally new format for NCAA competition this year. How much do you like about it? Or is there well, I love it. That What I don't like about it, I don't like that, you know, we've got this, this play-in, which is going to be two teams competing on a Thursday night, a Thursday afternoon in an empty arena with 16 judges out there. You know, that to me um, takes away from the championship 
level of this of this competition. Uh, four teams on the floor at one time, eliminating the buys is going to be intense and fast like it was at the SEC championships. And then to go two nights back to back mimics the national championship. And um, I'd like to have a day off in between, but you know they, they don't give us a day off in between at nationals. But you know they give a day off to other sports like you know basketball and baseball so I'm, I'm not real sure why that plays out for us in a different manner but it does and so we have to go with it what do you expect the atmosphere in the PMAC to be like um I, I think it's going to be wild and crazy I think we're going to do everything we can in the next two weeks to get the students in there our students get in free we're going to the LSU is going to pay for any student that wants to come in um so we're going to try to create as as wild an environment as we possibly can two nights back to back Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be the meet starts. You know, the event goes. You have two minutes to transition to your next event, and the four-minute warm-up starts. It's fast. At SECs, we were like done with that competition. What in an hour and like 40 minutes? Yeah, like hour 30. It was so fast. It was amazing. Lexi did three events, and we're up. Um, I think I think the fact that we're at home, you know, we're going to see, you know, uh, how she feels and how we how we can train up until that point. Um, but you know, maybe there'll be somebody that can go in, and so she'll only have to do one night of it. So, but she's so eager and she's so excited and so happy about their performance at the SEC championships and the contribution that she made for the team. I mean, she did a one and a half vault which we haven't let her do, and then she did got nine nines on the other two events. So I would say she's a very important um, cog in this wheel.